morning, boys and girls. Good morning, Miss Scott. Today's lecture is going to be about tubes, about how evolution made our blood vessels and ducts. Isn't that exciting? Yes, it's exciting. Multi-celled animals got too big and their cells started dying. So it would be an advantage for these multi-celled animals to get blood and oxygen. But how would the blood get around to all the cells? Natural selection selected tubes to do the job. So tubes evolved a little bit at a time. Can you say natural selection, boys and girls? Natural selection. Natural selection. When we study stuff like this, we like to study mollusks because they didn't evolve a lick in 500 million years. Mollusks show an interesting series of developments that probably also represents stages in the evolution of blood vessels and ducts. First, you get a row of saucer-shaped cells. And that's important because it allows the saucer-shaped cells to hold some blood. So that could be selected for. Can you say selected for, boys and girls? Selected for! Selected for! Wonderful, boys and girls! Next, you get a cup-like structure where the blood is held inside of a basin. And now the newly evolving blood vessel can even hold more blood. That's an advantage over saucers that hold less blood. So that can be selected for. Next, we have an almost closed tube, but it still has a pinhole leak. The leak was not selected for. Can you say... Not selected for, boys and girls? Not selected for. Not selected for. Wonderful, boys and girls. Next comes little tiny seals for the pinhole leaks, which again is another improvement in the ability to hold blood. Next, the smooth muscle layer of the blood vessel evolved. The outer layer, called the adventitia, evolved. The adventitia made the blood vessel real strong, and that was an advantage. But, Miss Scott, that's only an O. How can an O turn into a tube? That's nothing but an argument from incredulity. Now watch this. Oof! That was a trick I learned. So I can show you that I have over 60,000 miles of blood vessels in my body. And they were all made by random mutations and natural selection like I showed you. Well, that's my lecture for today, boys and girls. I'll see you next time.